So today we are going to do the remaining part of this lecture, which is uh, basically going to talk about uh, uh, how the fiscal imbalance was corrected and uh, what was the status of public savings, private savings and the household savings during that time. Right. So basically, uh, yesterday we saw that SLR was increased. SLR was increased, but it was not sufficient. SLR, this increase was not sufficient. Okay. This was uh, not, suffici not sufficient um, to, to actually share the burden of uh, government financing, that is uh, financing the government deficit. So it had, the government had to depend upon the RBI, right, for, for correcting its deficit. Well, and that correction led to inflation. Right. Now, there is a limit to which <clears throat> RBI can respond to this, but then uh, all of this was accompanied by an increase in cash reserve ratio. So SLR was also increased and CRR is also increased, right? SLR and CRR. increased clear they were already high right in addition to that <clears throat> there was uh, priority sector lending so there were certain sectors which are prioritized uh, to be given loans priority sector lending right at concessional rates at concessional rates here. Yeah. So SLR was high, CRR was high, people didn't have enough money with them uh, to invest, right? So their lending was costly at that time. And on the top of that, priority sector lending was there, I mean, so that the lending has to be done to the priority sector at concessional rates. Um, so whatever is left out for the non-commercial sector, uh, it means that the lending rates for the non-commercial sector that remain very very high so the lending rates of non-commercial sector of non-commercial sector remained high right so this would mean that there will be less private investment right? that is this crowded out private sector investment so what is the argument till now? The argument is that SLR was already high, CRR was also made high, and the, and the priority sector has to be given lending at the concessional rates. So whatever is left out for the, for the non-priority sector, that those lending rates were already very, very high. So it means that the private, private sector investment was very low or it was crowded out, right? So this is an argument till now. So, and moreover, um, the other thing which happened was that public sector savings, I don't know why I'm not able to change the color ink of the pen, I don't know why, um, public sector savings <clears throat> 